Yo, what is good, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, we have some huge news on the new AFL game. Uh, at the moment, well, officially, it's going to be called AFL 23, and this is because it has been added to the Australian Classification Registry, which means the game title is locked in. AFL 23 is what it will be called. Along with the title, we have found out a few other things, but before we get into it, I'd love to give a quick shout-out to Snap Jerseys for sponsoring this video. Snap Jerseys is your one-stop shop for all sporting jerseys, and they're on a reduced price, so you can pick up AFL jerseys for $65, NBA for $79, and it's all high-quality stuff. So make sure you go check out the website and see what you can get your hands on. But thanks once again to Snap Jerseys for sponsoring this video. So obviously back onto the AFL 23, the title gives it away 23 clearly states that the game will be coming out this year. Uh, I'd honestly say it will be out within the next few months. Nothing is confirmed there, but I can't see why it wouldn't be released at the start of the AFL season. The game has been rated G. Uh, with consumers advised that it contains very mild course language, online interactivity, as well as in-game purchases and chat, which sounds huge if you think about it. In-game purchases. So does that possibly lead to a my team or an ultimate team? Maybe just an in-game currency, which will go towards the developers and developing further AFL games. So that's exciting stuff to hear. So while an official release date has not been confirmed as of yet, the new game will be available on PC, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and the PS5. And we can notice that the Nintendo Switch will not be having access to the new AFL 23 game. So I'm sorry to say, but if you do play on Nintendo Switch, you won't be able to access this game. And you may be thinking, Bud, why is that the case? Why is the Nintendo Switch not going to have access to the new video game? So... Apparently, 36 players plus some umpires could not be delivered with a reasonable user experience on that platform. So, obviously, if you've played NBA 2K or FIFA 23 or whatnot on the Nintendo Switch, the graphics and frames per second is turned down on the Switch just so then the console can actually handle that game. But, obviously, with this new AFL 23 game, Big Hint has just decided to not post the game to the platform just because they didn't want the players to, I suppose, look that bad. And, uh, obviously, the performance... Of of the game is very important because they need to build a good reputation which i feel like this game is going to be probably one of the better afl games we've ever had so no expectations on big ant but from what they've delivered in the past and what we've actually had from wicked witch and other afl gaming experiences i feel like this one will be one of the better ones but that's about it for this video uh the next news we probably are expecting is either the release date or even the cover athletes so Leave a comment who you think or who you would like to see on the actual cover of the AFL 23. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video.